Hello, as Nigel has said, my name is Annunciata rees mogg and I am here today in sadness. I am here in sadness that our democracy has been so betrayed that I feel the need to be here. For the last eight years, I've been a full-time mother. I didn't think I would ever be back on the political scene. I wanted to avoid the negative comments that people throw all over the place and the violence that can come from putting your name above the parapet and standing for what you believe in. I didn't want my children to have to suffer that, but my country needs to be recognized in the democratic way that it has called for. Our politicians need to listen to what the people have said. I joined the Conservative Party in 1984. This is not a decision I have made lightly, to leave a party for which I have fought at every election since 1987, from Maggie Thatcher through to Theresa May. I know which one I'd rather have representing us now. Within the Conservative Party, there have been good times, but there have been quite bleak times where I wondered what our leaders were doing and I had serious questions, but I stuck by them through thick and thin. But at the point at which our Prime Minister will not listen not only to her membership, but will not listen to the people of her country, 17.4 million of them, many of whom had never voted before, but believed in bringing back control, I can't sit by and let her do it. It is our fight and we must fight to win. There have been scare stories, left, right and centre. Oddly, we seem to have less to fear from WTO than the EU. It is them that should be trying to avoid it. When it comes to tariffs, the majority of the world operates on WTO, and it is the world that is growing as Europe and the European Union economies stagnate. We should be looking further afield. We should not have fear. We should have belief. We know we are a great nation, and for that, we should be proud. We should stand up, we should fight for our futures, for our children's futures, but most importantly, we should trust the people. In 2003, I founded a campaign called Trust the People because it's what I so fundamentally believe in. We've got to rescue our democracy. We have got to show that the people of this country have a say in how we are run, that the politicians are not our masters, they are to do our bidding. We must fight back not only of control from the European Union, but fight back for control of our own democracy. The stakes are that high. This is a fundamental moment for all of us for our futures, and to shape how things go forward. I cannot put up with the despondency on the streets. I cannot bear to see the anger amongst the people this country's elected members have ignored. We must fight their fight, we must win the fight, and we must leave for a greater future and better politics. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And I was also asked this morning on the Today programme, whose votes will we be targeting? Will we be targeting Tory votes? Will we be targeting Labour votes? And the truth of it is, we're targeting the millions of people out there who voted Conservative and who voted Leave. We're targeting millions of people who in previous times voted UKIP and voted Leave. And we're not going to forget for one minute the five million people out there 
who voted to leave and who also voted Labour. Very, very important we get that message out there. Very important indeed.